Seriously, Swedish fish. The best, maybe the best non-chocolate candy going, I think. But, but, I'm going to say this. Very controversial opinion. I would not say the red is the my favorite. Uh, yeah, me neither. I like the orange. orange I like the green. Uh, I like green. Green? Really? I like green orange. or yellow. Wow. Yellow. I'll go for yellow. I'll, I'll eat yellow. I'm a lemon lime guy. guy. I think green uh, might be my least favorite, but I think red might be the third, because there's four colors. Yeah. I think we go orange, yellow, red, green. Yeah, I'd do that. Like right? Red. I do like the red, I like, but I like the orange. I like the red plenty. The orange is a I'm delicacy. Just, That's not the regular one you get. The orange is like... It's, yeah, it is, it's like just rare. Yeah. And suddenly you're like, oh, an orange yeah. one. Are you guys the same way on Sour Patch Kids? I don't eat that trash. Yeah, I don't, that's too <laughs> sour for me, eat? Pat. What are you, are you kidding me? Oh, you, you know what was weird the other week? We were talking about this. Um, <laughs> Jason is unfamiliar with... Because he's never been to the Jersey Shore. No. Like a boardwalk Jersey Shore. Really any of it, right? No. But I was explaining how the big bag of, of Swedish fish that you had mm -hmm. here in Best Show Studios reminded me of the of the big games you play on the boardwalk. Yeah, trying to win a box of candy. And you put your you put two quarters on pop or like, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. Pop, mom like pop it's pop. A giant or, spinning wheel. Yeah, which which probably has a hundred fifty. Uh, a different, and different kind of things that it could click onto, like like yeah. it's di it, like 150 different differentiations, whatever you call those. And it's like childhood gambling, basically. Yeah, like, but it, from afar, it's like a it's gateway like, it's like childhood gambling. It's four. It's four. It like four. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, it, that's yes. it's, so, it's so cheap because it'll be like you'll see it from. 15 feet away, and it'll say, one, two, three, four. Oh, and you're just my like, odds are great. It's great. And you get closer, suddenly you realize <laughs> Every each, tick. each one of those things has a different name <laughs> under it. You're just like, wait a what? At that point, you've given your money. How much does it cost? What are you What are it's you like wagering? It's like a buck to play, and then you have to put 50 cents down on like the on the table, on a person's name. And so it's you, a buck to, it's like an entrance fee, and then you have to pay more to actually play. I think it used to be play. like... A quarter or, or, or oh, yeah. two quarters to, to play, cheap. and that yeah, was yeah. it. But yeah. that, but now it's like a buck to play. And you want to know what's crazy? Is that you're, you're, per, you're oh, please let me win a thing that if you go to Costco is yeah. $7. <laughs> or CVS. Or yeah, any. wholesale. <laughs> any, any place that sells anything wholesale, it's shockingly cheap mm -hmm. that you're going to get, oh, I got a box of Snickers bars. <laughs> really? I'll get those at Costco. They're $8. For thirty six of them, like like the price just plummets on that stuff. Where it just like, yeah, I didn't realize how regional that was. Like for just yeah. <laughs> Jersey Shore, yeah, I just that is, it was I guess, like carnival. But I never thought of that as a regional thing. I thought everybody would know that. You didn't have that at the uh, traveling Vir carnivals, Virginia come to town. Or oh, anything? we had county fairs. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, they didn't have, games, they 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 had games of chance. They weren't. They had games of chance, but it wasn't like that. It was like uh, throw a. It was a bunch of fish balls with fish in right, them, yeah. sure, and you sure. throw a ping pong yeah. ball into the fish, mm -hmm. and yeah. then you get get those fish, and then they die mm -hmm. the next day. They were swindlers on the Jersey Shore. Very strong. Um, Not mine. They always die. Uh, Chad, my brother, won one. My mom refused to let the fish into the house because she is a tough mom, and so he gave it to his friend who put it in the tank with all of his like gorgeous his father's like gorgeous expensive tropical fish and that goldfish ate all the other fish no it did and it's oh. it lived for years oh, on Good the blood God. of these fish look that's a, that fish is like look i'm i'm, <laughs> I'm a boardwalk fish <laughs> like or whatever like i'm a county, county fair, fair fish you don't think i've seen i've seen some bad stuff go down i'm now in a tank these these soft fish it's between them or me. I'm eating every one of these fish. <laughs> he, he ate a Rasta banana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a Rasta banana stuff thing. Remember when that one guy won the oh, Rasta? It's a it's funny my favorite oh, yeah. story. That's like... It's a real-life onion headline. It's like the... It's like the... It's like... It, that's like... They might as well just call that, like, America. Yeah. Where it's like... The guy's like... And it was in Massachusetts, yeah. right? Where the guy's just like... Kept going back to the one game. What, what game was it? Was it like a darts and balloons or something? Or was it a... Search this. It was some sort of target game. 
Spent his life savings. All oh, right, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Spent his life savings yeah. to win a PlayStation. Right. I just typed in Rasta Banana <laughs> and then the le- <laughs> then the letter L and it came up life savings. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, it's so depressing. Does it say how much he spent on it? Well, let's hear and find out. Oh, God. <laughs> Good day, Maine. Just on the, on the subject. It was a horror show where he ended up losing his entire life savings. He claims he was conned at a carnival game. Michael Rosenfield spoke with him. Henry Gribbom says he lost his life savings, $2,600, on a carnival game like this one. And all he has it's to show for it is this stuffed into the, banana into the bath, with dreadlocks. So you're expecting to win a few things and, you know, let the kids have a good time. Um, it just didn't turn out that way. Gribbom <laughs> says he attended a Manchester carnival run by Fiesta shows and wanted to win an Xbox Connect at a game Xbox. called Tubs of Fun, where contestants toss balls into a tub. See, I knew it when was he a practiced, thing. he says it was easy, but something changed when he started playing for the prize and the balls kept popping out. <laughs> it's not possible that it wasn't rigged. So Gribbom says he kept trying to win back his money by going double or nothing. He dropped $300 in just a few minutes. Then says he went home to get $2,300 more and soon lost all that as well. I know it's a difficult game. I mean, I've tried it myself. I've done it once, missed by 20 president. times. Fiesta. That's the vice president of the thing. I know it's a difficult game. Yeah, it's a difficult game. Fiesta gaming. Like more, and soon lost around. all that as, like, yeah, as well. Yeah, can, I, can yeah. I just get, yeah. get you walking around the camera? With is him rolling around with a baby <laughs> carriage that has the the prize that he did get right. for the thing, which is a ban- a stuffed animal, <laughs> uh, but it's a banana with that's done up like a Rossifarian. So I have a real question. Yes. How many points if we get him on the best show? Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> 300. <laughs> okay. He's worth three you, times as much as David. You really, think he want, <laughs> you really think he wants to talk about this story? Uh, that's, yes. That's I the, think, that's the I think, test. I don't know. Okay, I, well, that's, I what makes, that's what makes it. That's why it's 300. I, th- I think this guy's probably sorry he ever came forward. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, because oh, he's never going to live it down. Never. No. You know, and, and when you think It'll about it. tombstone. It, 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 you know, I mean. Twenty six hundred dollars in today's world isn't even that much, right? I think he still has that banana. You know, that banana he could probably sell that banana for right. ten thousand dollars. That's what I'm thinking. With like, <laughs> and how much does the Xbox go for? Three hundred bucks? You know, he could have yeah, just yeah, right. it's just yeah. Like, that he was trying to win. Look, it, it didn't oh. dawn on him on that long walk home to get more money. To get twenty three hundred. You know, I've already pumped in more money than the things were. <laughs> I'm also he just carry he. I guess he just had the money at home also. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, under the mattress. Yeah. You know. That's your life saving. Mm-hmm. And if he gets cold, he can use the newspapers that it's stuffed with. <laughs> yeah. The, make oily, the oily rags. <laughs> I bet somebody came forward and gave him a connect. Don't you think? If they didn't, that's sad. Right? Usually that's what happens with these things where it's just like, we'll, yeah. we'll help you and do a thing. But then, like, I don't know. This guy seems like a bully. <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> no, look. I feel sorry for Who the guy. Who is he bullying? Uh-huh. No, but he looks like he's done. So he's done his fair share <laughs> okay. of bullying. Yeah. So this just has come up. And uh-huh. I'm not gonna go. Sc- I don't know. Maybe he's the sweetest guy on earth. I don't know. It I'm just a, saying. A rough high school reunion. Yeah. For this guy. Hundred dollars more, and soon lost all that as well. <laughs> I know it's a difficult game. I mean, I've tried it myself. I've done it once, missed probably twenty times. Fiesta Show says the game is run by an independent contractor worked for Fiesta for years. It's interviewing the contractor to see what happened. Are there any scams at all with any of the games? Not that I'm aware of. We've had a lot of these game operators with us for years. The traveling Uh, carnival is now setting up here in Gary, New Hampshire, but you will not see tubs of fun. Fiesta's... Not that I'm aware of. (laughs) (laughs) Greatest cop out ever. (laughs) Not that I'm aware of. I don't know. Like, probably. (laughs) Like, it probably is, but... Yeah. These game operators with us for years. The traveling carnival is now setting up here in Derry, New Hampshire, but you will not see tubs of fun. Fiesta says the independent contractor that runs the game is not allowed to set up while an investigation 
is taking place. <laughs> because you get caught up in the whole double or nothing. Do you think the I've investigation in the tubs of fun is still going on? I like how his yeah. child is in the background. We need to find out where the investigation is at. <laughs> his child is in that. <laughs> child is in the stroller that has like the Like 30 feet time. away. This guy's a dad? Oh, no. To win my money back. Henry says he went back the next day to complain, and the man running the game gave him back $600. Henry split with the banana and the cash and filed a report <laughs> with Manchester PD. For once in my life, I happen to become that sucker. Oh. Yeah. Come on. This guy. This is a dad, though. Get it together. Get it together. He's trying to be a big shot. This is a dad. Yeah. Like, the kids exactly. doesn't play. Thank you. I'm That's with you. Me. Now it's like, come on. You, when you're alone, you can do whatever you want. Right. If it was just a single dude. Spend all your money on yeah. the Connect. When you're Mike, a dad, yeah. 